the concept of praying is one of the obligations that Hashem ruled in his creation. That all the creations, meaning people, receive blessing from him based on how much they pray. The more they pray, the more merits they get. The more they pray, the more their soul is waking up to serve and follow the instructions. The more energy you get, positive energy. And you get closer to Hashem, every prayer make you closer by something to Hashem. you never be the same. Now or after we're going to pray, when we finish Tfilat Arvit, that Tfilah makes you a little bit closer to Hashem. And a little bit closer, and a little bit closer, and also closer to what you are asking for. And according to how much we are awakening to serve and to get closer to Hashem in holiness, that's how He reflects to us. So it's a two-way street. If we won't have this awakening, He won't send us the, the wealth, spiritual wealth, physical wealth. And there's nothing Hashem wants more than to benefit people. That's why He created us. So He prepared for us a tool or a channel to get almost everything we want, everything that is good for us. And what are we doing? Neglecting that ability. Ah, I pray three years, nothing happened. You fool, what do you think? You're going to go like this and everything you want will come right away? Whoa, that's not how it goes. Pray with devotion, with good intention. We learn from Moshe Rabbeinu that prayed 515 times to enter Israel. When he was about to start his 516th prayer, Hashem had to stop him. Enough. Do not add another word about it to me. All the commentaries explain that the next prayer, Hashem will be forced to cancel the decree that Moshe would not enter the Holy Land. He would be forced to let him in. Why? Because there's nothing that can stand in the, against the power of prayers. And every prayer, you get another inch, and another one, and another one, until you reach the target. And Moshe was 99.9% .9 there. One more, and boom. And it happens. And that's when Hashem told him, don't do it. And Moshe said, why? Even send me as a bird, as a cow, as an animal, let people eat my meat. It's, at least I walked in the holy land. Hashem said, you have enough. What do I, what does mitzvot that only you can do in Israel? You cannot do in a, in a desert in the exile. Give me a week. Let me do the mitzvot of Eretz Israel, Trumot, Masrot, things that only an holy land, and then take me. I'm not asking for another 50 years of life. Not even a year of life. Not even a month of life. Give me a week or two. And Hashem say, you have plenty, don't worry. What does, what does it mean? You are the rabbi of all the people. They are entering Israel. Everything they're going to practice, go anyway to your account. So you will have plenty of mitzvot from the Holy Land. Don't worry. Your children do it. Your students do it. It goes into your account. What are you so worried about? But we learn from here that one more davening, one more prayer, and it will be all changed. And then Moshe would enter Israel and Hashem would be forced to bring the Mashiach. That's it. It will be the end of everything. So Hashem actually wanted to enforce his punishment by forcing him to stop praying. What do you care? Let him pray five million times. You can tell him, Moshe, you're wasting your time. I already told you, you and Aaron cannot enter Israel. You can talk and talk as much as you want. You're wasting your time. I made up my mind. And that's it. Let him continue to pray. What do you care? It's his choice. Give him reward for speaking to Hashem and counting on Hashem. But you don't have to accept his request. But from here we see that Hashem must accept the request. Must. And because he didn't want to be in that position, he forced him to stop praying. He didn't ignore him. He just forced him to stop praying. That's a very big difference. 
When you tell someone you can pray until, until next year, nothing is going to change. You're fired and that's it. Or you can say, don't, don't pray. Why do you care that I pray? Don't pray. I told you you're not, you not entering. But why are you telling me not, not to pray? Because when you pray, I have to change my verdict. That's the power of prayers. So that's an honor to stand and praise Hashem and make the request and thank Him and be, uh, have gratitude. And that's called ishtadlut, effort, making an effort. 